Our current set of topics provides links to the videos, the handout. Our current chapter is chapter one of the book that covers the overview of the design models. So software design models formally recognized in the software design cycle include this list of uh, possible uh, documentation that may be included with the project. A business model uh, describes the rationale of organization information, how it delivers its value to the customers, how it captures overall uh, business strategy. So this is a pretty broad uh, documentation, often includes mathematical background, scientific background, and so forth. The domain model um, uh, places the system in a specific context whether it be healthcare, financial, scientific, uh, possibly video gaming, and so on. Right? So it also covers a pretty broad range of formal and informal descriptions that represents core aspect of the business, but uh, more specific to a, uh, to a particular problem domain. A combination of the business model and the domain model basically constitutes the requirements model. Uh, requirements model is a user-friendly description of the problem in the form of user tasks uh, in overall tailored to the needs of a software project that we're trying to work on. This could be a new software project or a new version of an existing uh, software. It reiterates the business purposes of a business model but this time in the context of this specific domain. You will see multiple examples of system requirements documents in our course. Uh, they are the starting point for a number of case studies or exercises in our course. The use case model, um, also known as functional requirements or functional specification, is a set of use cases. Each use case uh, describes a, a set of detailed steps or user actions and system responses to these actions by the user. This is also a very important document, often determining the level of success of the project. The analysis model uh, provides structure, uh, allows us to do some prototyping, experimenting with existing software, programming languages, um, as, uh, hardware platforms to design uh, the further uh, review and uh, approval of the information provided by the functional specification to the you know which which describes the set of use cases the design model is also recognized as a refinement of the analysis model and goes into more detail of the system context again this will be covered in the future in our course the implementation is obviously writing the actual uh, programming code to assemble the system and get ready to release it to the clients and of course to get ready for uh, for cy cycles of testing the deployment model describes the hardware topology um, network requirements and uh, uh, the way system security is provided by the software Testing, of course, uh, has to take place uh, on every part of the system and uh, every working part of the system, every component has to be validated, verified, and signed off by the quality assurance team. And although it may seem like all of these models are a top-down approach, uh, in reality, you know, the analysis, the design, the implementation, uh, is a highly iterative process that may impact the existing requirements uh, so that we may discover missing information uh, or we make we could uh, attempt to make some correction uh, in the existing functional requirements uh, to make some improvements to provide more detail of information that could be uh, missing at the initial stages. And as a reminder, just be sure to check weekly assignments practice for the first quiz and when you're ready uh, uh, click the go button to take this quiz for grading